Okay, so this is a follow up from the last video that I did in regards to the new Veeam NAS backup, which was an overview and a, a walkthrough of the components. It was a bit of a long video, but I thought it was necessary to really touch on why and what those components were doing. The The premise of this, this session is really to let's get into the file structure, but also a little bit more around the, the change file tracking and, and the smarts that we have there that and why we're why we've got those differentiators so if um if you haven't seen the first one then we have this vid one over on my channel but it's also likely gonna end up on veeam.com as well so with that let's jump into it so as you can see i'm on my um vbr server if i minimize this though because we're going to spend most of this session actually over here in our our repositories and if you remember from the components we've got a couple of um new concepts when it comes to components that we're using one is the cache repository as well as the file proxy we're not going to get into that too much on on this one but so the cache repository is where we're going to store those changes since the last backup this is what's going to give us that that information so that we know what to what to compare it to so that we get that change file tracking so under here you saw that i just navigated to this is just a simple repository a disk repository that's as close to the production um, NAS source as possible. You can see that it just navigates to backups and this file backup cache. Now each one of my backups has a vcache. So as you can see here, I've got, what's that? Eight of them. So if I jump into here and I jump into home, you're going to see, if I use this, another, another little handy feature in here is that you've probably got around about eight in there that, that we're using. Um, these are, you can't open, well, if you try and open these, then you're not going to get very much or very far from it. It's pretty much just, uh, just pointing to those, uh, that the NAS backups and understanding what's changed since the last. So just to put that into perspective without, without going into the slides, I mean, I've covered this off in, in various tech field days, but what we do is on day one, we take that full backup. On day two, we compare our vcache to to the uh, to the original location. We understand what attributes have changed from a folder point of view, and then we then we know what's changed. So then we go and and take those those new newly changed files as part of the backup. It's all based on the attributes of the files and folders. So what I wanted to get into is around of the file format and or at least the the folder structure in the file format that we have with the new um, NAS backup because it's not your typical VBK image-based backup that we've that we've had and that we have today from that portability point of view. So if you remember back, uh, one of the big reasons why and what we've done here is is we, we needed to be able to scale to billions of files and multiple petabytes of data, which then in turn meant that the VM backup format was not not suitable. So we we went with a, an object orientated way of being able to store these backups. So first of all, you're going to see uh, a the first file type or you're going to see one file type that we show is called a dot V blob. And expect this to see is tons of 64 meg chunks or blobs on disk. And I'll show you that with some of the scaled or the larger backups that I have. And then we also needed to make sure that there was no performance degradation due to fragmentation because of in any larger chunk. So that 64 meg was a was a conscious decision for us to for, for us to do that. So with that, if we jump back into our PC because I've just got a local re short term retention here and you're going to see right I've got a folder that's called this is where we're going to keep those VBKs, right? This is where the traditional Veeam backup stored. So we don't want to get into that, but what we do want to get into is these. So with that in mind, if we just take this large um, large file count, so there's millions of files being backed up here, and we drill down into that first layer and just expand this. So the first thing we're going to see here is the .v store. Now this is an XML meta file, and that describes that whole backup file, and, and each and every one of these are all going to have that vstore. So 
then what you're going to see is within there you've got a GUID, a GUI, um, and in other jobs you're going to see multiple ones of those, and you're also going to see the archive as a pointer to what files have been sent up into the archive repo uh, the archive repository or the archive tier. So the longer term re retention. In my case, if this backup is being sent to object storage. So let's just talk about that. Is that so the per source um, folder? So the GUI is it's going to contain all of the the individual um, all the data for that single source, and then that vStore that you see in there that we've that we've already mentioned is that's that XML. Um, file that we that we just touched on. If we go into that GUID, and I'm just going to try and make this as clear as possible because it's not very clear to follow as such. Um, you're going to see the data folder, which is with that's where the uh, binary data is going to be kept, and you, then you're going to see the, the a folder with with the binary metadata that's kept. You're also going to see. So if I just expand this you're then going to see another vSource now this vSource is another XML metadata that describes the single source of the object so if we then jump back or well, in fact let's go into the metadata first because while we're down here so this is where we're going to see the the breakdown of of index files and um, those those um, slices of, of data that, that we've mentioned. So the uh, the metadata describes the allocations in the blobs. The blobs I'll get to um, as we as we go into the data folder. But and then you've got the um, so sorry the V slice for simplicity. The V slice is there. It's binary meta that describes the allocation in those blobs. And then you've got the V index, which is what's just going to describe the files. So the names and the versions of the files that you're backing up. And you see a, a, a varied um, amount in here. So then if we jump back one and we go into the data, this is where you're going to see all of these different folders with different gu GUIDs. And if we think of these as these are all one gig baskets. So if I look at one of these, they should all be very much around that that one gig mark. So 996 and all very much, they should all be looking the same. And if we go into them and you'll see there's quite a lot of those. If we then drill into those, then you're going to see these V blobs. And these V blobs are those 64 meg chunks. You can see the size, they look quite clean and tidy in here. And, and this is really where you're going to see those those V blobs. This is these are packets of data or or blobs of data or chunks of data, whatever you want to call them, that are being stored. So all of these contain your unstructured data from a backup point of view. The more data you've got, the more of these you'll find. The more blobs you'll have in the in the uh, in the end. So if we look in here as well, you'll then start to see pretty much the same but so we've still got the so you saw that I went into the archive we've got this um, GUID again if we jump in there you've got the the meta which is the V index and the V slices you've then got the um, a backup of that metadata as well because ultimately all of these these files are being dripped into my archive tier which in this instance is an object storage so just to summarize, and, and to be honest, nine times out of 10, you're never ever going to have to look in here, but it's just worth knowing what the file and folder structure looks like. So in particular, you've got the, the vStore. So they're, they're XML meta files that describe the entire backup file. You've got your .v sources, which are XML meta files that describe the single source objects. You've got your .v index, which is a binary meta or metadata that describes the individual files and folders and names and versions you've got your v slice dot v slice that is metadata again that describes the allocation in the blobs so matching those two together and then you've got the actual dot v blobs that are in 64 meg data blobs or chunks that is where the the data is stored 
so hopefully that was that was useful bit bit quicker to overview that um we've got some more videos coming um just to walk through a few of the other scenarios that we that we have from a, a nas backup point of view and some of the the restore scenarios as well with that thank you very much